Oh, I feel like that hat's about is gonna fall if he goes if he just goes off. Oh, uh, nice time adjusting it. Oh, let's go. Okay. Strong as it start, man. Like literally. Oof. Man, their choreography's hella fast. Like hella intricate. Ooh, that was a deep round of jump. Nice. Nice ripple. Nice. Yeah, like right now, what what what's definitely coming up for me watching is like, this is the state, like the 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 usual choreography style that I see boy groups have. Strong. Mo majority of the moves are angular. But it's still clean, still very entertaining. Nice. Nice ripple going down. Nice. See, like a lot of this core, their choreography is difficult in this sense because there's a lot of like intricate movements love that this is very tr yes yes <laughs> it's so good I do enjoy, appreciate a lot of what they they incorporate is a lot of like quick angular movements and the quick, very, very like quick, like short moments of just grooving and flowing. Nice. And this whole section here is like, like kind of like a breakdown. So a change up in the energy of the choreography. Oh, I feel like that hat's about is gonna fall if he goes if he just goes off. Oh, nice time adjusting it. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I am okay. I'm appreciating the the amount of crumping, like 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 idols that travel like super quick. That was an ending. That was like a kill off for sure. So, like, I am appreciating the like the amount of idols that are really into crump and that they're showing it there because it goes off. I'm glad it's artists are showing it. As far as I know, the only one that does that here is Chris Brown. But I've seen like maybe f four or five artists in groups just doing like a quick crumping freestyle. It's pretty sick. It's dope. Because it's like, again, it's choreography, but it's cool to see like these street styles on artists and they look good doing it because there's a thing with that because it can get a little, you know, gimmicky. It can, not saying this one is, it can because a really funny example is Bring It On. Hated Panda Tear tried to do crumping, and I feel like God bless her soul, she did, she did it. She got she got her bag and all that, but it's like I feel like it was one of those things in that instance where like the fucking producers were just like, all right, there's this new thing called crumping, and so you know you guys should do it. And I don't know, I could be wrong. Yeah, you know, that's just like my theory. But these guys look genuine, like they actually practice the art form because it's not just choreography. You can go into class, learn choreography, cool, 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 and then you pick up the person's choreography style. But then you, when you go to these other styles, crumb, 
breaking, all these styles. There's a whole history into it. There's a whole movement language, a demeanor, a character, its own terminology. Like these street styles are in a sense similar to like how ballet is. They have their own terminology. Uh, and it's, I don't know, it's cool. And that, eh, there's a lot. I could go off on that, but yeah. So let's go to the analysis. Yo, hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you're liking videos here and want to get early access to it or even get exclusive access to content I react to like Road to Kingdom and other content that probably gets blocked on YouTube, make sure to check out my Patreon. If you've got an artist, song, or, or any particular request you want me to react to, I have a special tier for that too. Missed out on my stream? It'll be up there as well. So if you want early and exclusive content around this channel or opportunity for requests, make sure to check out the Patreon. See you guys there. Okay, analysis time. Analysis time. Strong intro. That's that's it. These guys are super strong and defined in their movements, and a lot of the choreography just feels hella intricate, and it's just blowing me away. Like, damn, these guys are freaking singing, doing this intricate ass choreography. You know how exhausted I am already just counting. Nice. Very, the great use of the floor, just like bringing her out, like, oh, oh, like this, leading her eye, just like, let's go here, then back, and then right here. really clumped that in then spread it out great use of the floor look at that look at that nice the floor look how close they are they are and then they blow it up boom out and four five and eight and one very aggressive like wobble or wop is that a wop? Oh no, it's more like a like a kind of thing. I thought it was a wop or the wobble. If you're into the two thousands, the circle's fun. I feel like it's gonna be better sold with the proper angle, because right now this is just a wide angle. Two and three and four. Five and six. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I'm gonna like watch this choreography. Boom. Slide, shoulder, shoulder, out, out. The amount of trap, like movement, formation changes, and intricate movements they did really quick. Look at that. So, this is what, at 52 seconds in, there's one formation. Two, three, four. So, they gave us four formation changes in five seconds. Da 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 da, what da da da. And eight and one, two. Wow, da, da, da. I don't know it's supposed to be like these shoulder throws. Two, da, da. It's a great movement because it's, it's already like a big start. Just as from a dancer's perspective, I would love to be like, I would have loved for them to be like super thrashy on that. Like, woo, ba, boom, boom. Cause the energy is just really like amped up here, but I also know they gotta sing, so it's like, oh man, they gotta they gotta be multi talented. Nice clean transition from this V formation into this three. This is kind of a diagonal. Yeah, it's a three four diagonal. Dancing into formations. Da, 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 da. Nice. Can I? I want to watch that real quick. Is there? Is it a more of a side? One, two. Uh, okay. So it looks like. Okay, I was trying to determine the groups. I thought it was a like the rotation went from here. It's more like a section, but he's just by himself. 
so it's a ba 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 and then ba that's what i'm seeing because there's two here going here and he's in the middle what are they doing with that choreography God, look at that intricacy on that. They're not going like a thousand percent into it. Okay, we got a tut here. Tut, bring down, wave, boom, boom. Tut, bring down, wave, dot, dot. The back kind of like does something a little different. Wave. Super intricate and fun, dude. So, tut, bring down, wave, dot, dot. <laughs> That's so good. I love this. This moment is sick. I do appreciate a symmetry person right here. Oh, that's such an interesting. Wow, that's clever. We got this diagonal. We got this like very interesting, like, you know, asymmetry thing going on, but they decide to also leverage like, let me just try it out. One, two, three four five and then he's right here so we got this kind of motion happening here but they decided to still kind of use this kind of triangle visual because they're centered right there that's pretty clever this is a quick moment in time i thought for some reason he just was out but it's just the mid him in the middle of his transition That hit though, man. I haven't given it enough like props. This is where like the whole vibe completely changes. This is more flow. Boom. Okay, just for the mechanics. Another great thing I would have loved to do as a analysis ended, but also like a, a more like a mechanics technical breakdown of the movement in the studio. Boom. Makes contact. What he should be doing here is not. Oh, okay. See that? I thought he slammed his knee. But uh, contact with his toe first. So he doesn't slam his knee, but it becomes this kind of pathway. The momentum comes up here. You push down, or well, kind of pull down, and you pull up. And then you use these moment, this moment right here as a boom. One, two, three. Oh, why are you on the ankle though? That, ooh, strong ankles club. You know, push in on that, dude. That, oof. I mean, I mean, whatever works, but that seems uncomfortable because it's full on the side. Because the whole point of your toe is for that. See that, like, we're happening right there to help you get up. This is a kind of a dangerous position because you have momentum going down. If it's done improperly, that's an injury. Especially a dancer at my age. Oof. <laughs> So I got a little suspicious right here, like with him wearing his hat, because I know a lot of crumpers wear their hats like that. I remember when I was crumping, I would wear my hat like that. But I just thought it was just, you know, a prop or just a character during the choreography. But I didn't know this was a whole, like, you know, whole ass crump freestyle. Yes. I, I just so appreciate that. Swings, stops. And by the way, just because I said I crumped, it doesn't mean I was, I was that good. I was learning a little bit from friends who were in the scene. I was not that involved in the scene. Man, this travel, dude. So they're spread out right here. Boom. Boom. One side. This travel is clean, dude. Like they said, like, let's go here. Then let's go here. Let's go here and let's bring it back. Let's make it like a top view. <laughs> top ish view. This is one of the reasons, again, I love tower views because then you can see the difference here and then here. 
and then here, and then back in the middle. Nyah. Oh. First time seeing this group, I'm gonna be honest, it just seems like a lot of like the typical stuff I see from the guy groups, very strong, very defined movements, angular movements with few brief moments here and there. So it's still very entertaining, high energy, a lot of very intricate, quick movements, and not a whole lot that's like new in terms of like movement quality or like concept, but it is still fun and interesting nonetheless. So uh, thanks for the request. Let's hop on to the performance video. Performance video time. They're shiny. Ooh. They're like crispy sharp with their movements here. I almost feel like the how reflective the the clothing is is just adding a lot more to their movements, man. Because you got light working with you to bring attention. Excuse me. Damn. Uh, next. Oof. This dude right here, like with the blonde, he's killing it right now. Him too. I'm like, I, I'm really enjoying their character uh, or as they perform. Okay, flashing lights. Damn, these, these guys are out of this world, you know. Nice. This looks really fucking fantastic on this, like this whole vibe happening right now. And look, it looks really, really cool. Oh, here we go. He's about to, yeah. Let's go, man. Ooh. Man, shouts out to them doing that stunt, like to him doing that stunt and going right into it. I've always admired people who like, do a flip, picks up choreo then picks up a choreography. Like, I'd much rather not. Nice. I love how he just got up. Look how smooth he got up, dude. Oh, like, whoop. Let's get rid of it real quick. <laughs> yeah, that, that was more to add though. Outfits are pretty fire. This jacket is sick. Like definitely a great like performance piece, just like to keep with you forever. Cause that just looks great on stage. So I <laughs> said, so these are like, dude, these outfits are giving 2013, but updated. I definitely agree with that. That's it. Let's hop on to the next one.